Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure Palo Alto Home Lab setup on VM Workstation. Okay, so as you can see here, this one is the topology of my Palo Alto Home Lab. Okay, this one is my test PC and this one is my management PC and this one is the Palo Alto firewall which one is installed on VM Workstation and this one is my physical home modem and which one is connected with the internet. So on this lab topology you can perform all the uh, tasks like your uh, web application testing, URL filtering, you can test all the labs. Okay. So for that first of all we have to install Palo Alto firewall on our VM VMware workstation. Okay, so let's start the installation of Palo Alto firewall. So for that first of all So as you can see inside my VM images, this one is my Palo Alto uh, firewall VM 7.0.1 image. Okay, so I have to import this image on my VMware workstation. This import, let me uh, Palo Alto VM 01 and this one is the location where I am going to store this uh, virtual machine and let's start the import okay it will be take 5 to 10 minute 10 minutes so till that i'm going to pause my video recording as you can see now our uh, palo alto firewall vmware machine is successfully imported and now you can see right now we have here just we have here only two network adapter Okay, so we have to add few more network adapter. You can add max to max uh, nine network adapter on this Palo Alto VMware machine. Okay. Oh, sorry. First of all, I have to stop my power on. Now add. Here network adapter next finish. Let me add one more. Not hard as this. Okay, finish. So this one is for management. As you know, our management network adapter is connected with VM network adapter 10. Okay, and this this one is network adapter one. Leave it as it is bridge. And this one is LAN connectivity. Let me connect with network adapter 1. And this one for DMG, let me add on 13. So 12. Okay. So you can see this thing here. As you can see, management is connected with VMNet 10. And uh, Ethernet 0 is VMNet 0. And Ethernet 1 is VMNet 1. Okay. So now next task we have to make few changes inside the uh, this file Palo Alto VM VM-10 VMX file. So let me go back in this file VM this Palo Alto VMware machine and this one is the virtual machine configuration file network adapter ok ok where is network adapter 1 2 3 We have to copy this value and paste on the here in place of E thousand this value 
and same for network adapter 3 ok and let me save and exit ok now let me power on during the installation there is no need to make any changes ok just wait and watch Do you see there one type of uh, failure message that one is uh, uh, NTP server synchronization failed so no need to worry about that ok now you you will be get here VM login so you have to wait at least uh, 3 to 5 minutes here because uh, there are some background process which one is still running so until that process is not complete it, will, it didn't take your username and password default username and password password is admin admin but until unless that background services are not finished so you have to wait as you can see here I am trying to put password but it show in incorrect password so let's wait choice you have to wait 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 yeah now we can enter yeah we are now we are logging logged in so next task we have to check our management interface IP address for that we have to use command show interface management as you can see this one is the IP address of our management interface 192.168.1.1 so now you can easily access your Palo Alto firewall from your uh, management PC so management PC is my base machine ok so now let me show you the VM network 10 IP address Open network sharing center, change adapter setting. Let me clear the screen so you can see here detail. Uh, on this network adapter, we have assign, assign IP address 192.168.1.10. So that means we are using same network IP address. Okay, so let me open browser. And here https colon double slash one ninety two dot dot one sixty eight dot one dot one. Okay. Oh, it's asking for password. Admin. Admin. Now let me log in. Uh, not safe uh, 
uh, this one is the morning uh, warning message because we are using default username and password leave it generally it didn't take uh, uh, such long time because my system is little bit slow because I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you entire lab setup on VMware but rest of the all other lab I will show you on my ESXi server so this one is the dashboard of Palo Alto firewall but right now today I just only show you why we have to add those two extra VM network adapter on VM firewall but right now you can see here we have Ethernet 9 but still we can use only our first three network interface card we can't use 4 to 9 if you want to use all the network adapter card so you have to add extra network card on VMware machine here setting so this one is our Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2, Ethernet 3 so we can use only three interface of the Palo Alto okay let me show you uh, let me configure this interface as a layer 3 interface of Palo Alto and uh, no need to assign the IP address just uh, up this interface configure as a layer 3 after that in advanced section as you can say link status auto ok let me assign and configure also fourth okay advanced okay so as you can see I have uh, no shift my both interface 3 and 4 cancel ok now let me commit after commit you can see what's the difference between 3 and 4 interface commit process is little bit slow on VM appliance so you have to it you have to wait okay let me pause the recording as you can see commit process is completed almost okay just 99 percent wait 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 completed successfully okay close So guys now you can see link status green means up red means not connected not connected means this one network adapter is not connected with the any other VM network adapter ok so that's why we can use only these three if you want to use all these interface for that you have to add more network adapter on your VM machine here setting so 
so you have to add more network adapter after that you have to make the changes in on that file that file this on this file let me show you that file again um, this pc lab drive uh, this Palo Alto vm and okay this one file virtual machine configuration file open with notepad you have to make the changes for that here here this okay so you can use all the interface but there is the limit maximum limit is 9 <coughs> okay guys so this one is the first video of the Palo Alto home lab okay in next video I will show you how you can access the internet from uh, internet from your test PC through the firewall you can open Facebook after that you can block that from this test PC okay and this one is the first video whatever if you like this just leave in comment section if you have any suggestion for my further video okay so you can leave a comment for that okay so guys have a nice day bye